I nearly dropped my laptop there. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my booktube channel. It has, again, been a while. I'm really bad at this, I'm really sorry. And I aim to do more and be more productive if I can. So today I wanted to do the outliner tag because I recently, this morning, actually in fact, watched uh, Sasha Alberg's um, version of it and she tagged everyone. So I was like, okay, thank you for tagging me, Sasha. I'll do this too. <laughs> right, I've got to get this up now. Okay, so recently I um, found out about the genre thon and I thought, okay, I'm gonna try and it ends in like two days and I haven't even finished my first book. <laughs> I'm just like not with it at the moment. I've been really, really busy and that includes watching Netflix because Kimmy Schmidt has come back and that is something that I really love watching so I'm very pleased. Um, but I've just been busy. But I've been reading Onyx by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I finished Obsidian last year, I think. Uh, check my Goodreads. Um, but basically, uh, this one's just getting better and better. And let me just say, Damon Black, I love you. <laughs> um, but in this you mentioned um, Labyrinth and that is my all time favourite film of forever and I was just like nope this is the book series for me because they've mentioned Labyrinth so yeah. But basically I had a friend on um, Twitter and YouTube um, who asked me to possibly do genre -thon and I was like okay I'll do it. I don't have time. I'm so bad. It's like I want to do it and at the same time it's just like every time I go to read a book I just, I'm just like why am I reading at the moment? It's just not very good. Um, so basically what I'm trying to do is just read more if I can. I can. I will. I'm, I'm in the process of getting myself more like lifeable. Um, if you watch my main channel which I will link down below or put a little caption here I don't know. Um, then I'm going to be starting um, telling you about what's going on in my life which just makes things a bit easier because otherwise I feel like my booktube just gets clogged um, a bit like when I was doing drama schools I've done a video on drama schools on that one so if you are interested in drama schools go and have a look I'm going to be doing like a little series on it um, but basically life has just been complicated and I go up to London again next month and start rehearsals for Romeo and Juliet with the Tower Theatre Company and it's just, it's getting a bit hectic. Do you get me? Do you get me? Um, so it's all a bit... <laughs> but I thought I'd let you just know what's going on before um, things. But I, it, possibly this background will change because if I'm up in London, it will be my bedroom in London. So be prepared for that. Now, let's get on with this of London tag. Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing... I'm wondering if she's got the tags underneath. Oh yay, she has. Okay, that makes my life a little bit easier. Thank you, Sasha. I love you, Sasha. I think I feel like I should sit back a bit more because otherwise the light's just not very good. But then I feel like, hang on. That's a bit better. That's far, far better lighting, isn't it? Um, but let's just do this. Okay, so outlander book tag. I am reading from this, just so you know, um, because otherwise I won't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, so this is the outlander book tag and I have read half of the book well, like a quarter of it or something like that, and I have seen all of the TV series and the new one is coming out, well, technically season two has already arrived, there's only one episode, the next episode goes up tomorrow, which is Sunday, and it's all very, very good at the moment. If you don't have it and you're in the UK, um, go and get Amazon Prime, that's how you do it. You can get a 30 day free trial, so just blitz the whole lot then, um, but it's really, really good. Okay, so number one is, you touch some standing stones and get transported back in time. What year would you hope to land in? Okay, now, I would hope to land in the Victorian sort of era because I loved all the ball gowns and all things like that and I just find the era very, very fascinating. When I was in year three, I had this wonderful teacher who did a lot of history called Mrs Wigmore and she just got me absolutely excited about all of that sort of thing and it's just always been something that I've wanted to go and do. So, if you look at my Pinterest, I have like a whole thing dedicated to like period clothing. <laughs> I just want to be in period drama someday. If you don't know I'm an actor and I just, I, I want to be in period dramas with the BBC, that would just be amazing. <laughs> that and I want to do Shakespeare, so that just includes all the dresses. Number two, Claire is a very good nurse. What type of skill would you want to have that a fictional character excels at? I'd want to be like a gymnast or something crazy. No, no. If I was going back to Victorian, if we're going to like keep in line with that, then I'd want to be like an insane piano player because that's what they were doing back then. I'd want to be like a really great piano player because a lot of them did that and I just think that was kind of like a thing back then. But I, I, I think I would do well, meet Mr Darcy and all. N number three. 
Jamie and Claire are ultimate relationship goals. Who is your favourite fictional couple? Oh, that's not fair. There's like so many. There's really too many to even like think about. Can I list a few? Um, ah, my brain is going like... Um, oh, no, this is not easy. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go with what I'm reading at the moment, and that is um, just with Damon and Kat because I love them so much. I love the banter that they have. It's just like, if I ever like meet someone, that's exactly what I want my relationship to be like, because it's just, they absolutely love each other's pieces, obviously, obviously, but the banter that goes on is ridiculously funny, and I'm loving it, I really am. Number four, the ending of Outlander was shocking. What is one book you read that totally blew your mind? Um, Okay, if it's one book that totally blew my mind, it will be my all-time favourite book, which is The Taker by Alma Katsu. And if you have read that, you will know that it's just the most mind-blowing book. Things and change and turn, and it's just, you go back and forth in time and things like that. And it's just, and the ending is ridiculously amazing. And I mean, um, the first book in that series is amazing, and then it slowly got worse. And uh, but, I, but I still loved the series, it was still my all-time favourite. <laughs> Five. Scotland has a lot of castles and we see quite a few in Outlander. What fictional kingdom would you want as your own, castle included? Okay, I would probably want to go for... When did I get the copy of The Siren? I was looking at that like yesterday in the bookshop and I was like, I really want a copy. And now there's one on my book pile. I must have gotten that ages ago and I've just realised, sorry, I was thinking, I was trying to find because I was thinking of um, books and I'm just like, I keep them piled up there and I'm trying to find the one I'm thinking of. Okay, I know where I'm going. So I would go and have the Kingdom of the Selection series just because I love those books and I like the way that it all works and things like that, so that's possibly what I would go for because the castle sounds pretty amazing too. Oh, actually no, is it any fictional... Oh, what fictional kingdom? It doesn't state it's got to be in a book. Although it is technically now in book form because I have a copy of the book. Labyrinth. I would go to Labyrinth. Hands down. Hands down Labyrinth. I've changed my mind. Hands down Labyrinth. Hands down Labyrinth. I want to go and meet the Goblin King and, and wear the dress and everything. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, number six. Outlander has some very steamy scenes. What is my favourite romance novel? Ooh. I don't know. Oh, no, that's not, like, easy. Oh, no. But, like, in terms of romance novel, does it mean, like, Fifty Shades of Grey, or are we going, like, any novel that has any romance in it? I'm probably going to go, like, any novel that has any romance in it, and I probably feel like, um, my favourite, like, ro novel with romance in it would have to be, like, um, Clockwork, um, no, yeah, Clockwork Princess, just because I loved the ending and how things worked. And it was just all like romance and stuff. But I, I mean, obviously, it's fighting because it's Shadowhunters, but I just. Uh, Tess and Will, I ship them so much. Okay, number seven! The Jacobite Rising is a huge plot point in an Outlander series. What book has your favourite battle in it? Um. Probably Red Queen by Victoria Aviar because there's some really good like um, fight scenes in there when people show what they're made of and things like that and I really like it so definitely that one, definitely that one. Uh, number... number eight. So, number eight. Jamie and Claire get married very unexpectedly. What fictional character would you want to marry on a whim? Oh, I don't know. <sighs> That's really not easy, there's so many. There's so many that I would marry at the drop of a hat. And that's bad, that's really bad. There should be like one and there's not, I can't choose. Um, <clears throat> it would sort of have to be between The Goblin King, because like Labyrinth is a book, I have a copy of the book by A.C.H. Smith. Um, will Herondale? <laughs> Damon Black? <laughs> this is just gonna go on forever. Um, oh no, 
I've forgotten names. This, the, the list is too long. I can't do this one. I can't do this one. The list's too long. Let me know who yours are in the comments, but I can't do this. It's just, ah, uh, no. Too, too long a list, and it's like making me choose between my, the loves of my life, so it's just not gonna happen. Okay, number nine. I can't keep my pinky down. <laughs> Uh, Scotland is a beautiful place. What is one fictional world you would love to visit? I've actually been to Scotland. I go, we went to Scotland for our family holiday last year. We're going this year again. I love Scotland. We went up to Drimsimi, which is up by, um, uh, da -da -da -da. rat's asses. Forgot. Uh, Inverary, it's up by Inverary, which is actually where the castle is, where they filmed for Downton Abbey in Scotland. So it's kind of cool. And I've been there and it's really lovely. Um, it's awesome up there, it's amazing, I really do love it. So, where would I love to visit? I mean, that's my laptop because I've made enough of that. Um, probably would want to go to the Goblin Kingdom in Labyrinth, but I'd want to do that. <laughs> um, I'd, de I'd want to see, like, I'd want to go and visit the world of uh, A Court of Thorns and Roses because I think that that would be amazingly awesome. Um, I'd want to be like, high face so I'm okay everywhere I go though so <laughs> um but yeah probably one of those two I really like those worlds I'll probably think of something later oh oh shadow hunter world I want to visit Idris at some point in my life um it will happen shadow hunters are real people shadow hunters are real oh and the world of like red queen and places like that there's just like there's too many it's too many um number 10 if you could change the past would you in certain areas of my life, yes, I would, because I've made some very interesting mistakes in my life. Um, yeah, other bits, no, I wouldn't, because it's shaped who I am as a person, and I, you know, as an actor, a lot of things that you experience that help to, you draw on that, well, you, you do, you draw on the emotions that you've experienced, and a lot of things that I've experienced were very, like, difficult in my life, um, but I wouldn't go against that so probably not really no actually because I wouldn't be who I am today and I wouldn't necessarily know everyone I know today and quite like my friendship group <laughs> and number 11 is tag somebody oh my goodness gotta find somebody's tag now okay right I need to just go onto like YouTube and find my YouTube friends because I'm really bad at remembering names it's just not my talent I can tell you now. I did um, a show at the National a couple of years back and we had to change um, like invisible character's name. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't do this. <laughs> I did, I did it really well, but we only got like one week and I'm really, 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 really bad at names, so it was hard, but I did it. I did it. Oh, hang on, what was that the trailer for? The Neon Demon, okay, yeah, they, they, I, was, I thought it was like something for a book. A film book to film adaptation and it wasn't <laughs> okay so with number 11 I am going to be tagging a book with me so that's Alex because I absolutely love his channel um, I'm going to be tagging Sarah Night Owl who has been behind me and getting me to read and I really love her she's really supportive and she's always making sure that I'm alright so she's a real sweetheart and then I'm also going to be tagging Anchored by Books because I love her videos and that is my thing and I tag everyone else as well I'm gonna do that because Otherwise I feel like you look at it and you're like, oh, I really want to do that tag. But they haven't tagged me. Tag yourselves. So um, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. This is going to be, this is like a 20 minute video. It's going to be so long to edit. But I want to say also thank you so much. I've hit 200 subscribers on this channel. And I really do appreciate it. It's um, nice to know that someone appreciates my content. <laughs> um, but seriously though, thank you so much, guys. And it's... Being an, been an interesting journey so far. Hopefully the journey will be a lot, lot longer. I just need to read and more and make more videos. As you do. So if you, um, you know, let me know what you're reading. That would be awesome. And if you get a chance, please go and have a look at my other channel. And subscribe if you can. I'd be very, very grateful with so much love. Um, because I've started it up. That's all about my life. And I'll be doing a lot of videos about being in London and things like that. Because I do sort of live there a lot. I guess. It just depends on life. Anyway, check that one out for all of my life stuff. This is definitely going to be a, just a solid booktube channel now, so nothing gets confused, and I love you all so very much. Bye! Howard, is that you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you stop creaking the floorboards? That's a weird thing to go I'm trying to film! Why didn't you say so then?
Stop creaking flowers.